This is Dolany TV, guys. A big welcome back to MLB The Show 18. We're talking Diamond Dynasty once again today. Of course, uh, I'm going to leave a card later on in this video to go check out my first Diamond Pull of the Year. It's been that kind of year. It's okay. Last year I did it in one day. This year it's taken me about a month. But either way, today, finally, I've figured out my methods. I've figured out how I flip. I've figured out how other people flip. And I've figured out how we're going to make some stubs in MLB The Show 18, Garen friggin' T. So the first thing I'm going to tell you about is it, it's the most simple because you got to think before you have stubs, you need something to sell to get stubs, right? So either you play games for rewards, but I mean, you're going to get a common or a bronze 90% of the time, right? Um, unless you play the Pink Trojans, which is famous by Atrian Gaming there. So what I want to show you right now is if you go to the dailies, the dailies is kind of your hub for that easy, cheap stuff if you can get it. So right now, my dailies, after just refreshing last night, is the Reds long ball and two triples in a Diamond Dynasty game. Now see, look at that, right off the bat, you get two triples in a Diamond Dynasty game, whether you're playing the computer online, uh, you know what, everything except for casual play with friends and extra innings. You're getting 500 stubs, 300 XP, plus a daily pack. Now daily packs usually have diamond jerseys, gold jerseys, or else uh, those silver hats. And now the silver hats, that's one we'll touch on in a minute here, but the Reds long ball also, see you get another pack as well. So if you do that, you get two of those packs. And one thing that has really become good for cheap, quick money this year is souvenirs. So that's the first thing we're gonna really touch on here. And I'm gonna go show you one thing I've flipped a lot. So you see the Red Sox alternate hat. That's what I'm talking, silver hats. It's the alternate hats, whether they be home, alternate two, whatever, they're alternate hats. And you see, you can place a buy order of 2,400, sell it for 3,000, and make 300 stubs. Now that's not exactly perfect. Like that's not glorious money, but when you talk about it, you could probably set it for 3,100 and make that extra couple stubs, right? That's, that's the method there. And I'll show you a couple other ones that are really highlighted key pieces that you can flip. So the Red Sox is one for sure. And then you've got the other one as well in the athletics. So I'll just go down to the athletics there and exit out of this screen on my computer. The athletics, not the big flip that the Red Sox hat is. 1600 to 2200 you're looking at about 400 stub profit same as the Red Sox hat but it's cheaper it's more cost effective and you can probably do well you can probably do three to one or three to two right two Red Sox hats or two A's hats and you're getting about the same so keep that in mind when you're going to flip these hats for the first time and the Marlins well the Marlins it's about the same theory here as well um, you see there's nothing for 3200 so if you're setting for 3200 you can probably hit for 3200 and get that 400 stub profit as well. Those are my four big ones, or three big ones that I flip, pardon me saying four too much. But the other one you really want to keep an eye on, especially when you don't have as many stubs, is the Phillies hat alternate one. If you're going to flip, this is an easy flip. You see somebody's up the price to 1400 but there's only one for 1356 and then one for 1246 as well. The reason I tell you to keep this in mind, if you can get it for 1300, flip it for either 17, 18 or 19 as you see the first 3 are, you're going to be making quick profit and 1300 is rather easy to flip. I mean 1300 you can make that off one daily pack hopefully and right there you've got a hat to flip for 400 stubs, right? That's those souvenirs. Now, when it comes to stadiums, stadiums are a little bit more difficult. You gotta look for something that seems too good to be true. That's that's generally what I've seen with stadiums. Like right now, Shy Park looks too good to be true, right? That's a pretty big margin. You don't see any other stadium with that big of a margin between the buy and sell price. So I'd hop on 3,100, try and flip it for 39, because if it's gone up to 4,000 before, it will go up to 4,000 again. That's the way this market works. You want to make sure you capitalize on those kind of things and get it going. Other than that, really, uh, 
the easy flips, but we're already talking 2200 like that. It's just out of the realm right now. But let's get right back into the realm. So you've sold a alternate hat only for 300 stubs. You only have 300 stubs. Well, come here to the gold sponsorships. This is where it gets really easy to deal with. 100 sell now, 330 buy now. So literally you're making just under 200 stubs a flip right here. Well, if you have 300, 600 stubs, you're up to 900. You do it a couple more times, right? And there's like a bunch like this one for 82 and 275. Actually, excuse me a second while I go put in a buy order of 110 over here and try and grease myself some stubs while doing this video live for you guys. And we'll see if it works during the video as well. Now, sponsorships don't move as quickly, but honestly, if you have 600 stubs, what else are you gonna do, right? Uh, the one other thing you can do is equipment, which moves a little bit quicker. And in that terms, you've got something like the Nike BG4 Zero 2.0, which uh, this one averages pretty good profit margin. And you see right now it's uh, it's kind of high. I'd imagine it goes back down to about 100. But if you can flip it, you're gonna be flipping it all right. And right here, the shock scorb, this one is a good pick because it's always averaging a below 10 sell now price. So even if you're putting a 10 sell now price, imagine you got 300 stubs, that's 30 times 10 sell now. Thing is, silver equipment quick sells for 25 stubs. All right, you follow me there? So you're getting 15 stubs times 30, that's 450 stubs. If you just wanna put up a couple of stupid buy orders or sell orders and get it going, right? That's, that's the simple it does. And then maybe throw two or three at this one and make 90 stubs. Like if you're going for the quick small stubs to build up to those first few hats I showed you, these are definitely two very good picks for that as well. And now I believe, is it shin guards? No, it is wrist guards right here. The Franklin Sports. Now the Franklin Sports is a very good pick as well because for 380, which is what I about flip it for every time, you can sell it for at least 575 every time. 575 knocks you down to, what, 520? So 520, you're making 140 stubs. That off gold equipment is perfect. That's exactly where you wanna be is 125 to 150 stubs minimum per flip. And right now, especially if you bought last night and all of a sudden waking up for the first time this morning, this would be a gold god dang pickup for you as well. So the only other thing I really have you to caution with is when you go into the programs, if you're a pack ripper and you just open a bunch of packs, you can easily, by collecting 15 of each card, or each collection, you can make 100 stubs and get a hat. Now that's okay. That's, uh, that's where I wanna show you. It's just, you collect 25. So if, if you have a bunch of guys just sitting around, you've exchanged your Immortals programs, exchange players, or career arc exchange players, that is too simple to do. You just exchange those duplicates and then you collect the live series one that you have left over, get those 100 stubs, get that 250 stubs, and then you go to the market and start flipping it all over again. And that is really what I have for you for guaranteed profit. Now, when it comes to all of a sudden you've got 31,000 stubs, event players are always a good source of income. That is a huge one. This is after my diamond pull last night, I sold Adrian Beltre and now I own that buy order, 31,250 for Lenny Dykstra. So if I can get him for 31,250 and sell him for 38,225, that is just shy of a 2,500 profit, 2,750 profit. So that is a huge profit if you're willing to wait for it. That's a quarter of a 10 pack standard bundle, especially if I start getting a little bit more competitive, it could be interesting. So guys, that's all I've got for you in these tips. If you want more, if you wanna get more in depth, let me know, hit me up in the comments section below. As always, I'm Tyson. I will catch you guys in the next one. Please make sure to subscribe and I am up on over here.